if you've woken up at 7 a.m. this morning, you got the kids to school and you're going off to work and you've got yourself into a higher tax bracket and you're paying more and more tax to this government on the back of inflation, people need relief and that's what we're going to provide for them. Well, we don't have a tax problem in New Zealand. We have a spending problem in New Zealand. This is a government that has created so much economic mismanagement, spending a billion dollars extra each and every week. We have had an 80% growth in government spending, but we haven't had an 80% improvement in health or crime or education or roads or infrastructure. Uh, so we have a spending problem with this government. Uh, and we need to be able to give people tax relief, uh, you know, hardworking, squeeze middle folk. And we've been talking about that now for a year and a half. And I appreciate there's lots of scaremongering from the other side, but we know how to run the economy. The other side doesn't. Uh, that's going to be important because we don't want people to have all the pain and suffering that they're experiencing right now. Because what they've been getting is economic mismanagement on a scale we haven't seen before in New Zealand. And that has caused huge amounts of pain and suffering for people who can't afford their you know, food, they can't afford the pump, they, they can't afford to actually pay their mortgage. Uh, they, you know, they're, they're dealing with the big effects of inflation. This government's policies have created domestic inflation that is sitting higher for longer. They have created then rising interest rates. They have created and put the country into a recession. And with that comes a risk of rising unemployment. And and so the people of New Zealand want to change. They know we're going in the wrong direction, but what they need is strong economic management so that we can afford the public services that we all want and deserve. A wealth tax would be incredibly destructive in our economy. Uh, we are the only economy in a recession in the Asia-Pacific region. I think what is incredibly worrying is that you've got Te Pāti Māori, the Greens, and many members of the Labour Party saying they want it. You've got Chris Hipkins saying he's not going to do it, but let's be clear, after the election, uh, he will bend to the will of the uh, Te Pāti Māori and, and the Greens. The coalition of chaos, you cannot tell me that you know, Chris Hipkins is not going to want to form a government with the Greens and Te Pāti Māori. You know, central policy for them is a wealth tax, that's destructive for New Zealand. And I think the choice is incredibly stark to New Zealanders. It's just more of the same with a coalition of chaos, or it's a strong, stable, national-led government. And what we're saying very clearly to New Zealanders is if you want to guarantee change to the government, there's only one thing to do, and that is to party vote national. Uh, and as a result, we're presenting our ideas, we're focusing on the things that matter to New Zealanders. It's the cost of living, it's law and order, it's health and education.